Let's see if it go down. Glad to be here again on God's Healer 7. We're having technical difficulties, the sound and everything else. Um, the little <laughs> gerbil inside this laptop is getting tired. Okay, okay so uh, anyway, I got Sister Barbara here. Hi, um, guys. I love you guys. Barbara has the prophecy. It's um, a recurring theme. Um, I have the scripture. Uh, we're going to be in the book of Revelation, but before we go there, um, just a little sidelight. It's very interesting. So when you hear this prophecy, and Barbara, you could comment on this. So you don't have to. You just could, you know, read it. But I found it, and this is just my spirit. Uh, I mean, we keep on talking about, and we keep on getting prophecies about an earthquake. Okay. To me, that's the sudden. I got the Holy Spirit from yep. head to foot, and we have about five prophecies we on got, earthquake. Yes, and we got sudden destruction. Is that the earthquake? I don't know. Yes, but we got a cosmic event. Yep. Sudden and destruction, yes. Could be. We have the wide coast. We have the east coast. Um, my impression, and I'm just just me, uh, and it's my spirit, and yes, I, my spirit is bearing witness. I got the goosebumps. That um, this is not going to be an, a, like, there's going to be an earthquake in um, California. This is going to be a, a worldwide event. There's going to be multiple earthquakes. And, and, and my prophecy talked about um, his roar that's going to shake the heavens and the earth. So I think you're going to see the earth shake on its axis. And it's going to cause all, as quote unquote, hell to break loose. Yes, I have a prophecy that says that the earth will shake to and fro. I know you do. So I'm just giving you a little uh, sidelight of what's what's going on because we keep on getting earthquake, 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 and um, something is coming. Uh, how soon? Um, only it's God's time. We don't know that. No, but I didn't get a time frame on it. We never get a time frame on it? No, I just heard it over and over uh, for two days straight, and I couldn't even sleep. I heard it over and over and over. Okay, now we have two scriptures on this one, and yes. I'm going to read the first one. Um, for whatever reason, that's how uh, he wanted this to go. So yes, excuse yes. me uh, for a second. When I read the scripture, the Lord actually brought me to the one you're going to read, and then he brought me to the one I'm going to read. Uh, excuse me, I get a drink here. Okay, so anyway, I'm in Revelation 6, chapter 12, and we're talking about the sixth seal. And beheld, when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. So there's mine. Now, I think you're in Titus, right? Yes, yeah, I'm okay. in Titus. Uh, let's see, I can't, let me put my glasses on. Uh, I'm in Titus uh, chapter 2, uh, verse uh, 13, but I'm going to start at 12 and read straight through. Okay. Okay, it, the title of the passage is called, God's Grace Brings Salvation. It instructs us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions and to live sensible, upright, and godly lives in the present age. Okay, this is the scripture here. As we wait, the blessed hope and glorious appearance of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness and to purify for himself, oh, here, get this, Holy Spirit, and to purify for himself a people for his own possession, zealous for good deeds. Here we go. Okay. So, again, um, things are, are moving, things are happening. Um, you have to be prepared. Um, Barbara is going to read the prophecy now, coming up. And, um, you know, I don't know how many times he has to warn us, but he sure has warned us enough that there is... I know. Uh, you just let me know when you're ready, but... Okay, I'm finding it right now. I'm almost okay. at it. Okay, but uh, I, I can't even imagine. When you... When you um, when I was reading yours about the, um, when I, mine, the Revelation 6, 12, um, the sun became black as cloth of hair and the moon became as blood. I mean, what would cause the sun to become black as sackcloth of hair and the moon okay, to be... Okay, well, he's going to tell you. Right. Okay, I'm going to let you, t you ready? Oh, look it, I got the Holy Spirit everywhere. Okay, you're up. 
All right. Now I heard this over and over for how many days now? The first, uh, the first two. Uh, I want to say the first two uh, comments in it. Can you see the danger? Can you see the danger? The Earth is quaking, and it will continue to do so until you recognize the truth. I am. A massive earthquake, unlike any other, is coming. Have you prepared? Your enemies will take full advantage of this cataclysmic disaster and the chaos following it. Okay, now this is the scary part here. Yeah, it is. Okay, new weapons of destruction will be used to compound the damage. The land will be desolate and the land will be desolate, uninhabitable. Many will be forced underground to escape the follow, that word, follow. The rich men have already prepared for this. The poor men, like us, I'm sad, I'm sad to say, the poor men will succumb. Call on me now. Pray for discernment, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I will shorten the days. Remember, I am with you. Fear not. Well, how about that? It sounds like while all this chaos is going to go on, there's going to be um, countries that are going to take advantage of it, and they're going to try to move in. Yep, that's what that, it says. That's what it sounds like, which is instead and of working follow, together. And I, I don't, I'm going to say, uh, you guys, now on my Facebook page, I did put uh, nuclear winter up there and nuclear follow. So if, if you're not on those pages, just uh, Google it and see what that is. All right, I'm going to let you do your day of vengeance, um, your prayer of Jabez, and um, and anybody we want to pray for, and um, so I can be able to upload this before I get yes. sick okay, again. Okay, <laughs> so um, um, on um, September 24th, 2022, uh, the Lord called me, and he uh, told me to uh, proclaim the day of vengeance of our Lord is at hand. And pretty much that is like, um, I'm going to say the scripture to me, uh, Joel 2.28, if you read that. So I'm proclaiming again, the day of vengeance of the Lord is at hand. So if you don't know what that is, Google it. So next, I'm uh, going to do the prayer of Jabez. Okay, excuse me. God the Father in heaven, in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, bless me indeed. Expand my territory. Keep evil and the devil away from me and my family. Let your hand be with me always, and please don't ever let me cause anyone pain or harm. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. And I'm just going to read Joel 2.28 in case our, some of our subscribers, uh, I just pulled it up, are not familiar with it real quickly. And it yes, shall come the to of the Lord. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall see dreams, dreams, your young men shall see visions. So that's Joel 2.28, which is yes, a, a pretty it popular one. Tell you about the day of the Lord. Yes. So uh, you want to do um, some prayer requests? We want. I know we want to do Joe, um, your son. Yeah, uh, my son just called me this morning and it made me cry. Now, <laughs> most of you guys know that he's in jail with, with uh, DUIs. And um, they have, there's, I think there's uh, 600 or 700 people in the jail, and there is no air conditioning. So people are, like, passing out sick, and they're taking people away because it's too hot, and he has, like, this little dinky fan in, in his, like, cell or whatever. And, uh, and you probably didn't mention the bed bugs. No, and then they threw uh, three or 400 uh, mattresses away, and they had the exterminator there at the beginning of the week because they found bed bugs there. How horrible this is. Yes. And he said that um, the place is overrun by, by uh, rodents, uh, mice that, that come in and steal, steal his food and stuff. I mean, how can you live like this? It's not living, it's just existing. No, so, no, and it made me cry. He goes, Mom, the place is filled with wild animals, and I really mean wild animals mice from outside stealing stuff then the birds were coming in because there were no screens and stealing his food all right let's uh let's again let's ask prayer for your mom and joe um let's thank everybody for their support we really need their support especially at this time 
I'm not mentioning names. Um, who no, does support and I benefits? Know so many people, and they're so appreciative. And I, I just love you guys. Thank you so much for helping us when we ask. Thank you. I mean, uh, I mean just the comments that you tell me that you hear from people that get the support. Um, you know, it just makes it worthwhile. So please keep up the support financially, spiritually. Um, anyway, um, even answering a comment for us, anything that you can do, the translations, we appreciate everything you do. And um, I just want to say hello to Michael. Michael, I mean, you're awesome. Thank you again for your support. Gene, I hope things get better. Uh, Linda, you're awesome. I mean, some of the comments um, that we get from some of our subscribers, Anna, I could go on. Fred, um, the list is long. Um, yeah, Nuno, know, that's um, that's in Portugal. That's prayers for Tim. Uh, Tim has a, an appointment coming up. Uh, Tim and his both grandmas uh, need a prayer. And Patty. Patty is sick right now. All right. Well, let me sign off so let me, I can upload this and before I get sick because I, if Just you look eight, at me, yeah. um, I, I'm doing very poorly and I'm failing. So I like to get this off before some, the devil um, stops it. Okay. Oh, there's more. Right. I said my hip, I think is bone on bone. I, I'm going to have to go to the doctor's. Right. Well, let me let me just sign off so I can try to get this up, okay? Because I'm, I'm yes. sick right now. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. All right. We're going to be signing off, and we'll try to get this up today. Shalom. Yes. God bless you guys. We love you guys. Remember to like and share. Shalom.